The water was so cold, but our attention quickly shifted. Smile upon my face Cause there's excitement in the chase This I know Yeah, I'm going for the ride And by myself I am alive And I saw Still I run towards the wind And let the challenge draw me in Cause I want more Welcome to Cards and Crowns episode 3. This week we are exploring modern day dinosaurs. Crocodiles! And we are starting off with homemade crocodile hand puppets. Welcome to Crafty Corner. Today Luca and I will be making crocodile finger puppets or hand puppets. You will need colored paper, glue, scissors, marker, and also googly eyes, yes, and white paper for the tea. That's right. <laughs> okay, Luca, let's begin. Yeah. Did you know that googly eyes were already invented in 1919? They are always a fun addition to any craft activity. Make sure to stay tuned for this week's close encounter to see if we were brave enough to swim with crocodiles and our brand new segment called Science Lab. Well done Luca! Your crocodile looks amazing! These were so easy to make and will provide hours of fun! Try to make your own at home! <laughs> Bye! Save the clock. <laughs> Watching my boys play and explore, I thought about how crocodiles are strong enough to bring down and dismember a water buffalo, but at the same time gentle enough to crack an egg, pick up their own young with their teeth and carry them to the water. Let's take a look at this week's Close Encounter. These guys are not that aggressive. Hmm. Crocodiles, oh my god, if the baby 20 years old, fall into the water, he will still try and bite you. This week we visited the world famous Labonier Educational Crocodile Farm in Paul. We had a very entertaining guide called Stefan. We learned about crocodile eggs. They have two alligators from America. Their names are Pancake and Flapjack. This adventure was so much fun! Mm -hmm. 
Unfortunately, we did not have enough time to experience the wonderful crocodile cage dives of the Labonier farm. Luckily, however, we visited Afrikaners near Gaanspaai the very next day. Welcome to Afrikaners! <laughs> Joseph's passion for his crocodiles was tangible and we really enjoyed him. But the original name or a biological name is Crocodilus Lenoticus. The water was so cold, but our attention quickly shifted. This was a big crocodile. I was not scared at all. That was an incredible close encounter and the boys could not believe how heavy that crocodile head was. We had a newfound respect and admiration for these animals. As the boys were playing, we were pondering on which of the interesting facts to talk about. There are just so many. We even thought about a science experiment. Join along! Today we have some freshly baked crocodile cupcakes. Look out for the instructions in the description below the video. To teach these boys about crocodiles and make it interesting, we've hidden some fun facts within each crocodile. Okay, Pierre, you are first up. Pick a cupcake, Pierre. This one. Okay. Mmm, that looks yummy. Okay, now open the cupcake, Pierre. Take out the marshmallow, there we go. What's inside? Let's see. Our first fact. Crocodiles don't sweat. They lose heat by opening their mouths. Wow! Okay, Leon, you're up. Pick a cupcake. Can you help me this one? Let's see what's inside. Okay, listen up, Luca. Yes, you can go ahead. Crocodiles carry their babies to the water in their mouths. Baby crocodiles can make noises from inside their eggs before they hatch. The mother then hears their voices, digs up the eggs from the sand and takes the hatchlings to the water. That's wow. interesting. Cool. <laughs> Luca, Pick a cupcake your turn. Okay, give me a fact. <laughs> Thank you. You can eat. Thank you, Mom. Crocodiles cannot chew their food, so they swallow stones to help them digest and break down the food inside their stomachs. They can also go through 4,000 teeth in a lifetime by constantly replacing them. Sure. 4,000 teeth. Yeah, that's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Go ahead, Mom. Grab a cupcake. Yummy. Let's see. What do Mom, I have? Look at my eyes. How does it taste? Is it good? 
You can go first, man. <coughs> stuck. <laughs> Crocodiles perform a death roll by powerfully spinning their prey in the water. A death that's, roll. That's sure. cool. <laughs> really cool. Okay, last one. Crocodiles have the strongest bite of any animal in the world. A crocodile's bite is 10 times more powerful than that of a great white shark. Very interesting. How are the cupcakes, boys? Good. And the facts, were they interesting? Yes, very. Let's take 30 seconds, look at footage of some real crocodiles and listen to a few more facts. Did you know that crocodiles are the closest living relatives to dinosaurs and they are also the biggest reptiles on earth? Let's have a look at some of the differences between crocodiles and alligators. Crocodiles exist both in freshwater and saltwater, whereas alligators prefer freshwater environments only. A crocodile has a longer, pointier snout and its teeth stick up over the top lip when its mouth is closed. An alligator has a shorter, more rounded snout and when its mouth is shut, you won't see any of its teeth. Crocodiles are often regarded as much more aggressive than alligators. And lastly, crocodiles live longer than alligators. Welcome to our science lab. As we just heard, some crocodiles live in fresh water and some crocodiles live in salt water. Let's look at one of the differences between salt water and fresh water, and that is its density. What you will need for this experiment is two glasses of similar size, some salt, some food coloring, and some water. Let's get going, little scientists. Start off by adding fresh water of equal amounts to both of your glasses. Now, add a good amount of salt to only one of the glasses and give it a good stir. Turn that water into salt water. Then, by using a spoon, Carefully add some food coloring to both of your glasses. The salt makes the one glass of water denser than it would be without the salt. When salt is dissolved in water, as it is in ocean water, it adds to the mass of the water and makes the water denser than it would be without salt. Because objects float better on a dense surface, they float better on salt water than in fresh water as we were able to see with the food coloring. The children found this so interesting and started to understand that there is a difference between salt water and fresh water and that is why animals need to be specifically adapted to live in either of those environments. Thanks for watching! Hit the subscribe button, you will never guess what's coming next.